Brian Abel here with your 7 Action News headlines. Beaumont Health getting extra health care workers from the federal government this week. In total, the government sending 22 nurses, respiratory therapists, and physicians to Beaumont Dearborn to help relieve overworked staff. The group set to arrive on Tuesday. A team of volunteers with specialized climbing gear set out to search again for a missing Rochester Hills teenager. 18-year-old Brendan Santo visiting friends at Michigan State University the weekend of the Michigan-Michigan State football game. He disappeared just before midnight the night before the game. MSU police tell us volunteers were out searching the banks next to the Red Cedar River on Sunday but didn't find anything. A reward has now grown to more than $20,000 and anyone with information is asked to call MSU police or Crime Stoppers of mid-Michigan. Sunday marked the first day of the Jewish holiday Hanukkah. To mark the Festival of Lights, a giant menorah was lit up in downtown Detroit. Each year, several lamplighters are chosen to take part in the annual Menorah in the D event. This year, that group included Danny Fenster, a journalist from Huntington Woods, who was recently freed from a prison in Myanmar. Let's get a check of our forecast now with Mike Taylor. Mike. Hey, thanks, Brian. We'll have temperatures that will be stuck in the 20s throughout much of the evening into the overnight. 26 in Detroit, 27 in Mount Clemens, but the skies will be clearing, but it will be a cold start to the work week.